So in this lecture, we'll learn about forward kinematics. Uh, a scenario has been given uh, where there is an industrial robot. Uh, it's trying to reach this uh, bolt. So the bolt is uh, has been assigned. Uh, this is bolt. This is table. Everything has been assigned a frame. So uh, bolt has been assigned frame G. G for goal. So this is we can say this is a goal frame. Uh, S let's call this static frame because it's assigned to the table which will remain static throughout. And then uh, we see this T. This is called the end of the uh, a robotic arm is also called in defector or it's also called a tool. So uh, the frame that is being assigned is uh, can be called the fr tool frame. Uh, and there is an, the last frame is assigned to the base of the robot. So let's call this uh, base frame. Every frame has three axes. Uh, for example, if this is uh, uh, the x frame of the base, x axis of the base frame, and this is y axis of the base frame, then according to the right hand rule, uh, this will be our z frame. Similarly, um, every frame, like the tool frame, has x of t, uh, x, y, and uh, um, y, t, and z, t. So what we have to do here is um, we need to locate, let's say, uh, frame G, or we need to locate, uh, we need to find the translation and the orientation of both relative to the this corner of the, the table where the frame has been placed, frame S has been placed. So let's say that is given by transformation T, we write it as a transformation of the gold frame relative to the static frame and this is a 4 by 4 matrix uh, where the um, so this T relative this is a 4 by 4 matrix where the 3 by 3 part top uh, le uh, left upper left 3 by 3 part it ref represents the orientation it's a rotation matrix that represents the orientation of the of the frame relative to the static uh, frame, frame S, and then there is a position vector here, which is the position of the origin of the goal frame relative to uh, S. And then the last three, the last row is uh, 0, 0, 0, and 1. So this is a 4 by 4 matrix, and this gives the um, relative uh, position I will write here gives relative pose by pose I mean orientation plus position of frame G um, with respect to frame S. Okay, so this is known because it's once we um, know the where the frame S is placed, we can locate G relative to S. So basically, uh, we might use a camera or we might just manually find uh, the three theta's, the orientation and the position. But let's say this is known. What else is known is the transformation matrix of S relative to base. Similarly, what here is known as the transformation matrix of uh, uh, tool frame relative to the base frame. Uh, so if everything is known, then we can find the transformation matrix of the goal relative to tool. So once we know that, 
we can instruct our robot to, to approach the, the board. Uh, this is this is the only input that the robot will need that how the goal is uh, located how it is oriented relative to the frame that has been assigned uh, and how it is positioned so in order to find this uh, we need this transformation matrix which is let's say it's known this is known this is known and we need to find this so in order to find this what we will do is let's say we take the first uh, one the first transformation matrix it locates goal relative to frame s and then we multi pre multiply it with the transformation matrix that locate s relative to b and then we need to find uh, transformation of the goal frame relative to the tool frame so that is possible if we take this this transformation matrix and then we invert it and then we invert it so yeah so uh, we have assumed that this uh, t Transformation of G relative to S is known. Transformation of S relative to the base is known. And then we have already as we have also assumed that the transformation matrix of the tool relative to the base frame is known. Uh, the other two transformation matrix, uh, this one and this one, they might be computed easily, but the one that that locates tool relative to the base frame, it is. Uh, uh, it's normally a variable. It's it's just pose me robot hai. It's a function of it's a function of all the theta. So let's say we had uh, one theta here, theta one, and another theta, theta two. Uh, then it will be a function of uh, both theta one and theta two. The moment theta one and theta two will change the transformation matrix the entries the, the the rotation matrix and the position matrix here will change so in order to find this uh, let's say theta one is given theta two is given you can measure uh, using uh, position encoders or any joint sensors uh, and you want to find this transformation matrix which locates tool relative to base uh, this process is called uh, this this the equation that give you this uh, is called forward kinematic model of the robot so in the next few slides we will find a systematic way of, of finding this transformation matrix we'll find equations we, we need to have equation in term of unknown theta 1 and theta 2 because Every time theta 1 and theta 2 will change, we'll plug in those values in those equations and we'll be able to find this transformation matrix T that locates tool with respect to, to the base.